Hey guys, every one of you has probably gone through some difficult times in your life, including relationship problems. It's especially tough at a certain age, when showing off in front of your peers seems to be of the utmost importance. Unfortunately, girls don't always choose guys for their intellect or good upbringing. All too often, the decisive factor in choosing a partner is his prosperity, or rather the way he presents himself, beautiful clothes and latest gadgets, a luxurious lifestyle, and, of course, an expensive car. It doesn't matter what future lies ahead of him or what's in his head. What matters is the kind of car he drives. I think many of you will agree with me on that. No matter how you put it, an expensive car really is one of the most important attributes of a person with high social standing. There's no point in arguing with that. Today, I will tell you a story that has been on the internet for many years now, and I'm confident that many of you will agree that it's true. After all, such cases are quite common, and people are no longer surprised by stories like this one. A man named Max is an ordinary tech support worker in a small company who doesn't earn a high enough income to boast about it. Just a few weeks ago, he met his former classmate, whom he hadn't seen for several years since their graduation. They happened to live in the same neighborhood, but they never crossed paths. But their paths did cross that day. Max was walking home from the bus stop, as usual, and met a girl he used to really like back at school. But, as it often happens, she didn't see him. Back at school, he was a short and skinny boy. But after graduation, Max took up sports, began to take care of his body, and went to the gym often. It was probably his transformation that made the girl, Anya, noticed her former classmate, who was heading to a meeting at the time. It all started with a conversation about their former classmates, discussing who each of them kept in touch with. But then their catching up turned into a real conversation. The girl talked about her life, saying that she traveled a lot and showed photos on her phone. Max, in turn, tried to keep the conversation going, throwing in some jokes now and then. Whatever it was, but they kept on talking for several hours. They took a walk and didn't even notice how much time had passed. The man even thought that Anya might be into him. Men, just like women, can sense when someone is attracted to them. They see the sparkle in the woman's eyes. Besides, why would she flirt and spend so much time with someone she didn't like? Well, this accidental encounter could have led to something bigger, but a simple question put an end to it. What do you do for a living? Max didn't want to lie or pretend to be someone else, so he told the truth. I have an ordinary 9-to-5 job. I work six days a week. I do earn enough for a decent life, but I can only dream of expensive resorts. Max told everything as it was. It would seem that there was nothing special about it, but Anya's attitude started changing immediately. It was clear that she wasn't interested in further conversations, and so she politely made up an excuse, saying that she lost track of time and forgot about a meeting, so she had to leave urgently. The man offered to accompany her, but Anya refused, explaining that someone was waiting for her there. Max immediately understood what it was about. The beautiful woman probably didn't think that an ordinary hard worker was a good match for her, but just for kicks, he still decided to ask if they could meet again. The woman replied enthusiastically, of course, you could message me on social networks. After that, Anya quickly said goodbye to Max and hurried off. What can I say? Things happen. She could have really forgotten about some meeting, so Max decided not to freak out and just tried texting her in a few days. Well, guys, as it turned out, Anya was a real piece of work. A few days later, Max messaged her saying, Hi Anya, how are you? However, he didn't get a reply that day or the next one. Nevertheless, being a nice person, Max decided to text her one more time, saying, Hi, is something wrong? Are you ignoring me? And again, all he got in response was silence, even though he could see that Anya had read his message. It's quite possible that he wouldn't have been able to get the pretty Anya out of his head for a long time, obsessing over what had gone wrong. However, one incident cleared everything up, answering all his questions. As the man wrote, Today was probably the best day in the last few years of my life. Everything happened by pure accident. I was walking home after work when suddenly a car stopped on the side of the road near me. And not just any car, it was the coolest G-Wagon. The car window rolled down and I saw a well-built man in a smart suit. 
I was about to get nervous because everyone knows what kind of people drive such cars. But the man just asked me politely how he could find a certain address. The thing is, I lived there, not far from that building. I tried to explain the way to the driver, but judging by the expression on his face, he didn't understand. Then I just offered to show him this place, to which he replied, Thanks, man. I owe you one. And as it turned out later, he would soon return the favor. Max said, I'd never been in a car like this before, but the driver seemed quite normal and trustworthy. So I sat in the passenger seat and we drove off. I kept asking him questions about the car as we drove, trying to touch the dashboard and the door unnoticed. When the stranger noticed my curiosity, he said, Do you like the car? Don't be shy. Go ahead and touch whatever you want. So yeah, he turned out to be a decent guy. Max recapped. However, he had no idea how this accidental encounter would end up helping him. When the car with the two men pulled up at their destination, by some amazing coincidence, Max saw the very classmate who had been ignoring him for several days. Yes, friends, it was Anya, and she wasn't alone, walking hand in hand with some unknown young man. Naturally, Max wanted to look very important and serious at that moment, but most of all, he wanted her to see him especially as he was getting out of the cool car. Therefore, Max didn't think of a better idea than to ask the driver to stop near the couple. The stranger immediately figured out the situation and asked, smiling, Are you into that girl? To which Max replied, Yes, but the feeling isn't exactly mutual. So, the man stopped the car where Max had asked him to, making sure that he'd be opening the door right in front of the couple. Then Max confidently stepped out of the car, you should have seen Anya's eyes. It was awesome. She stared at me for a few seconds as if she couldn't believe it was actually me. Then she even let go of her companion's hand and said hello to me. I was already euphoric, but even I was shocked by what happened next. The stranger in the G-Wagon turned the car around to park it, but apparently he was in a good mood because he decided to play along and help out Max. So he lowered the car window and said loudly, making sure that everyone could hear him. Chief, should I wait for you or will you catch a taxi later? Max just smiled in response. Max never saw the man from the G-Wagon ever again, nor did he ever see Anya. Although this time, it wasn't because she was ignoring him, but on the contrary, it was Max's decision. After this unexpected encounter, Anya sent Max about 10 messages on social media. She said she hadn't seen his messages that she meant to answer him and much more. However, Max had made up his mind. He didn't want a girl like that. Moreover, he decided to treat her the same way she had treated him. He simply didn't answer her messages, even though she kept texting him for a few more days. Let her keep wondering who I am and what it was that she saw, Max added. So that's the story, guys. Maybe it's fiction, but there's nothing all that surprising about it. On the contrary, we see things like that all the time. Unfortunately, an expensive car means much more on many people's eyes than education or intellect. So friends, what do you think? Did Max do the right thing ignoring the girl? Let us know in the comments if you liked what the man in the G-Wagon did. And that's all for today. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. See you soon.